in for a treat in this matchup, Greg, with two conference rivals set to clash yet again. Yeah, we're going to see some added effort and intensity, and, and don't be surprised if it gets a little chippy. Inside, here's Thompson. Brownlee from 13 feet, it goes down. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. And you don't see many teams take these shots as often anymore. It's nice to see them take advantage in this area. Here's Perez. He doesn't hit that one. Good D by Thompson. Shot on the wing. His first shot is a miss. 0 for 1 to start the contest. Here's Perez. No good on the three. That is not a guy you want to allow open looks for rain. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. That's his second so shot and his so second so basket. He's two for two. Well, he is looking he confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. And the layup's Number good five. off the glass. And now another look at that great drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And you gotta love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this one. And he makes good on the layup. Six points for him. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Pass to Adams. One sixteen left to play in the first quarter. See that miss, that miss right there. It's why teams try to avoid the mid-range jumper these days. Looking at this Cleveland Cavaliers team, this is a squad that really wants to get out of that championship team shadow. They want to establish their own identity. Good on the triple. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Thompson, high post. Chemistry at its best. An unreal alley-oop. Yeah, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk. All of it perfect. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. And he Number comes up 15. with the deuce. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. And there's the pass to Aguilar. The three. Kept alive. Out to the right wing. Round lead. And the wing jumper offline. Gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. I mean, that's a tough so break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and foul. drew the whistle. First team foul. Substitution on the court. Seventeen seconds left in the first quarter. And no good had a chance to take the lead there. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Eight. They're up by one. Seven. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Cleveland. Underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. And let me tell you, when you establish a physical edge, it gives you a mental edge too. And it's blocked. Out to the wing. Puts it up from 12. Can't get it to drop. Made three. Missed two from the field. Jared Allen has become a cornerstone of this Cleveland Cavalier team. He plays on both sides of the ball with such intensity. 
really at the right play defensively if he can't block, force him to the line. And talking about Jared Allen, he sure has improved his offensive numbers in recent years. Yeah, the average in scoring just keeps going up, averaging a double-double three of the last four seasons. Impressive young center to keep your eyes on. A shot from the wing, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. Eight points for him. Guy's nah, just ridiculous. He is just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Steven. Yep, it counts. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. To the wing right side. A shot goes in, first of the night. He's one for three to start the game. And that's right where they wanted to go with the ball, in rhythm. Here's Perez. And a miss there on the triple. Gone three of four from the four here in the second quarter. Pass to Aguilar. Thompson for the triple. It's hauled in by Adams. Gone 0 of three from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. It's deflected. Substitution on the court. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Away team foul. Number so both teams making some changes here. Personal foul. First team foul. 55 seconds left here in the second. From deep three-point range. That doesn't go, and he's 0 of 1 from the field. Gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter. 0 for 5. Passes it to Cruz. Over Aguilar. And they'll get another chance. Off to Number a good start 91. as he hits his first shot attempt. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. I'm deep. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. You give a shooter of his caliber that much time to seam it up? Oh, yeah, you're done. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. That one, no good. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. And we've reached halftime in this one. Up eight. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Coach, what has to happen differently on defense in the second half? Well, a little bit more activity. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, taking a look at this home squad. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. The difference so far has been the efficiency of their offense. The ball movement is really good. They're not afraid to use the whole shot clock if they have to. Overall, they're making every possession count. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about the visiting team? They have to start penetrating in the lane. A few high percentage shots could make a difference in the paint. Right now, the focus has been on jumpers, and it's been too. And that's a wrap. For those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Richard, safe to say you were a pretty good defender in your day. So tell me, who was the most difficult player you had to defend? I've had to guard some of the best scorers in NBA history. Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James. But there is nobody like Kevin Durant. His height, his skill set. KD is probably the most unguardable player we've ever seen. All Hall of Famers. Wow. 
shooting Away foul team. as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul, first team wow. foul. Wow, he got whacked on that shooting one. Shouldn't be Lundy. much debate there. Zero. Wow, what, did he have something Taking in his eye shots. on that shot? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. He hits the second from the line. Being just 31% in the game. And last season, Bam Adebayo said it was disrespectful that he wasn't named a finalist for Defensive Player of the Year. What do you think? Well, Kevin, no arguing here. He's definitely an elite defender. Second team all defense, three years running. Great toughness and versatility. Brownlee. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. 11 points in the game. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. It's good. Perez has got five points so far. Given the size disadvantage, you have to have a lot of confidence to take that shot. And I like his belief in his game. Go at the taller defender, make him react to you. Brownlee, and the officials call a traveling violation. Away team ball. Substitution on the court. Gone three of seven tonight from three point territory. Now the pass to Perez. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. That three off the mark. Being 56% in this game, really stringing quality possessions together offensively. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting for the home team. The first free throw is good. Two shots. He doesn't get the second one. Home team foul. Sarunas Martial Arts. Second personal foul. First team foul. On two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Double zero. And we're just about two minutes into Number the second seven. half now. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. And he drives in. Aguilar Ray. makes it off the Aguilar. glass. Not That's sure how he gets that pass Rafael. off. I thought for Number sure 18. he was going to pull the trigger. Gotten four of the first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. Number and the four. basket is good. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. For three. Nailed from three-point land. And look at how quick he was to bite on the pump. They left his feet way too soon. Drills it from outside. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. With four seconds on the clock. Can't capitalize inside. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Quarter with the score. Up by three. And we'll be back right after 26. this. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. That wasn't a better pass in the game. Almost like he had a sixth sense. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter. Sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. To the middle, Roundley. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Hard on the attack there. Marcelonis with great strength and body control, able to complete that play through contact. Home team foul. Sarunas Marcelonis. Third personal foul. First team foul. Uh. 
to the inside. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. To tie it up, buries the long-range jumper. Three points. And it's a tie ball game. And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ball game. And he lobs it up toward the rim. An emphatic L.U.J. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Eric Spolstra had some words for his team. He said, we're too concerned with their shooters right now. We've got to close off the inside. They are gutting us. He pleaded with his guys. Come on, let's take a stand. Kevin? Thank you, David. Shot clock at five. Comes up empty from 19 feet out. Gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Here's Perez. Thompson with the rebound. Really thought he had this one. And the defense, they were giving it to him. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. That's the hold. Down low. Aguilar. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And they had a foul to give, but you want to use it on the ground. At your home team, Aguilar. At the line for two. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. Aguilar. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. 46 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Money! And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. That was a second look at our Mobile One Drive. Amazing control on display. And that's the kind of bucket they needed. Close game in the second half. Great finish on that one. Shot clock at six. Shoots a fader. Got it. Well, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. And Eric Spolster wants a timeout. What's your take, guys? Big chance here to tie it with a bucket. And you also have to wonder if they'll try for a three. But they'll probably try for a two. But if something opens up outside, I doubt that they will hesitate to take it. doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. And he ends up making the second, and that makes it a three-point lead. And it's all about the three right here. We'll see what they draw up. Three-pointer is a must. Thompson with the rebound. And now they foul and stop the clock. First personal foul. Third team foul. So the first one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Thompson, two shots. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. And so they get the victory here at home. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from a point. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. On both.